mean, I was going to continue Sir Spook's, you know, 66 videos, but both Bazaar and Sir Spook's dropped the video today. So, oh, yesterday. I'm going to go over that. That's going to be for this week. And then next week, I'll continue the 66 videos. Once I'm done with the 66 videos, I'll go back to Bazaar Bub, go through the ones I haven't gone through, and go from that point on. Let's get it. This is nine scary videos that will baffle you. Let's see if I get baffled. I also have a very crack addicting snack. This is drugs to me. Popums, my Entimins, bro. If I could get an Entimin sponsorship, bro. Popums, mwah. They are chef kiss. All right, let's get into the video. I mentioned before something about I will do something soon. It's going to happen. Just give it time. Nine scary videos. Hello, everyone. My nine name scary is videos. Spooks, and today we'll take a look at nine scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more do scary that. content. Make sure you do that. With that said, let's begin. Number nine. This first video we'll be taking a look at today comes to us from Reddit user known as Iggy Tall 15. Iggy hey, 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 hey. footage over on the Ghost subreddit, where it has been the talk of the community for the past few days. In the video, we watch home security camera footage of the uploader Link. simply wandering around his house and doing everyday things, when out of nowhere, something startles him and completely ruins his day. Does that camera cost so. 182 bucks? Have a listen. Just get it, it's called Blink. Like someone choking. That's a fat dog. Did you hear it? Yeah. Out of nowhere, an unsettling voice can be heard whispering his name, Mike. Mike. The uploader says that initially he believes that the voice was coming from one of his children who he assumed had just wandered downstairs without him noticing, but says that he bolted whenever he realized that that was not the case. He says that the video was filmed at around 12 a.m. and says that it was just him plus the dogs and the cat that were That's a big ass hour. dog. Mike also points out that the house is from the 1850s. Oh. And the crew member whose life was taken in the infamous Halifax explosion lived in the home in the early 1900s, which just makes things so much more interesting. So you call explosion. Is it possible that the house is being haunted by the spirit of a man who passed away as a result of the explosion. Or is there something else yeah. to play here? Be sure to leave your thoughts and theories in the comments. Okay. Listen to the audio of what is supposed to be Mike. You heard that, right? This is what I hear. Tell me if I'm wrong. Doesn't that sound the same? I might just be crazy. Because, oh, Higgly, you right. Number eight. The dust. A woman on TikTok named Sierra typically posts wholesome and lighthearted videos to her account of her daily life and her exciting adventures. This is like Pete, did it Sierra? Two videos in particular on her account stand out like sore thumbs. In the first video, Sierra says that she was home oh. alone filming a vlog about the brand new house that she just purchased. Brand? All of a sudden, she began to experience something quite strange. Sierra is shown standing on a ladder trying to do something with a closet doll when out of nowhere, this happens. Um, how did you... 
How did you get out there? Hmm. Is that a something collie? I forgot the breed. Border got border collie. There's no way that this is a thing. I don't think you understand. There is zero way that she could unlock that, open it, shut it, and lock it. How are you doing this? Randomly, her dog was outside trying to get back inside, but Shiera did not put the dog outside in the first place. Mm. A few moments later, she proceeds to continue with what she was doing before, but again, the same thing happens. She goes to check the back door and shockingly, her dog is once again locked outside. But how did the poor dog get outside in the first place? It's a mystery that is obviously quite baffling for Shiera. Is it possible that there is some strange spirit that is messing around with her and putting her dogs outside mm. to give her a good scare? If so, what is the motive behind it, if any? In a oh. second video from Sierra's Se okay. account, she the comments. that her sister and her fiancé were trying to paint a nursery when fiance. randomly out of nowhere, this happens. The door to the room that they are painting in closes without any explanation, mm. much to the confusion of everyone. A couple of seconds go by, and Shira's sister decides to go investigate, and then, shortly thereafter, the door closes once again before the video ends. What could possibly be going on inside of Shira's home, and why is this stuff happening if the home is brand new? It's not as though the house is decades old and there were previous tenants there. It's quite a baffling case, so I'm curious if you guys have any theories on this story. If you do, please feel free to share them in the comments down below. This is my explanation. Let me know if I'm crazy or not. Window. Dog. Out window. Door. Huh. Or fiance. I didn't know there was a second person that could potentially be involved. The fiance could be the one bringing the dog outside and locking the door. On top of that, if there is any spiritual entity like whatever, typically, even though a dog is timid, you either hear the dog barking or you hear the dog like squealing of just fear. So you either hear like legit barking or just fear barking or whatever you call it squealing, tail being tucked between the legs, whatever. Those are the fight or flight instincts of dogs. And the fact that the dog is completely silenced, I just think it's the fiance opening the door, closing the door, locking it, and then hiding off somewhere else and just, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. That's what I think. And for the door being slammed, same concept. Somebody's in the house with a string, pulling the door. What was that noise? Walk out the room. Person's probably to the right of the door or left. Yeah. From our vision, person's to the right of the door. And when she walks away, person just grabs the string again and pull. That's my thoughts. A TikTok user named Dario Beedy says that he was staying at the Appalachian Mountains overnight with his family, but they did not know Skinwalker. that it is one of the most haunted places out there. Skinwalker. In the video, we watch as Dario is seen sitting in a nice hot tub 
outside in the middle of the night, trying to the enjoy next main himself. character from but while Nintendo this games. Is going on, something is terrifying Dario and his family. Although they try to relax, they can't help but hear an extremely bizarre and unsettling noise coming from somewhere nearby that they cannot quite explain. All right. Honestly, neither can I. Have a listen. What's that listen thing? Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. Who's the aliens, bro? I can't hear <laughs> I think it's a train. It's the But that's just scary. Okay, you guys wanna go inside? No, no. Stop. <laughs> I'm recording this right Believe it or not, the noise that you're hearing in the video is not background music but rather something that Dario and his family were hearing while out in the hut tub, mm. much to their horror. Sadly, Dario says that he was never able to figure out the source of the noise, but says not. that he now knows that the Appalachian Mountains are very haunted indeed. So it's probably not likely that he will ever return there to stay a second night. Death whistle. One explanation. Second, maybe a pipe. When going to the pipe. Making a whistling noise. Look up, mate. Or could be some type of building, like a fact, not a factory, but some type of building that could be out there and about. Or it can be abandoned, and again, because of pipes or whatever, wind travels with pipes, pipes make a whistling noise. There's a lot of explanation. The fact is that nighttime, uh, obviously do not explore, but this could be explanation, so it could be ways, but just don't be stupid and just try to figure it out. The popular subreddit Unexplained is home to some of the most bizarre and confusing videos that you can Confusion. possibly watch on the internet. The kind of videos that will truly make you scratch your head and wonder what exactly you're looking at. And while the subreddit is filled with baffling clips, the one that you're about to watch, published by user QNKO Dickens, is by far one of the most baffling Bashing on the entire Blue community. Seagull? The uploader writes that he was simply trying to unwind and have a smoke in the middle of the evening while okay. on his terrace, when he noticed something up above that made him feel unsettled. Take a look. Damn it, now you said it's your hair, now I'm a wee bitchy. Oh, it is. It's a shiny. For some strange and creepy reason, the seagulls that can be seen flying in front of the uploader seem to be flashing the color blue. The uploader writes that it looked almost like electricity was shocking them, but the seagulls did not appear to be disturbed in the slightest. He also says that it wasn't someone's laser doing this either. The uploader is asking for help from the internet in trying to determine what exactly was going on with the seagulls mm. that night. It's definitely one of the weirdest videos that I have seen in quite a long time, and I honestly don't have any sort of explanation that comes to me, at I'm least at the moment. I'm pretty sure that that is like a laser pointer, just like a this blue pointer. Mystery gets First of all, like soon, this, because shaking for the it. time being, I think a lot of us are going to remember this video the next time we see a seagull out in the wild. Anna Viverette has a popular TikTok account in which she frequently posts videos of herself doing various dance routines and exercises for her half a million followers to watch and enjoy. She's from what's of MD? Course, anyone with that huge of a following is bound to have some extremely creepy Maryland? people following their account. However, sometimes a creep takes things way too far and invades the person's personal space. Ah, oh, nah, vision, nah, nah. Which is exactly what happened here. This video posted to Hannah's account in November of 2020 shows oh, she's a wrestler Hannah though forming a dance routine while in her living room trying to entertain and make her viewers happy. 
Damn, for the million? Things seem to be going perfectly well for the first little while of the video. But in just a few seconds, this seemingly fun and light-hearted video takes a seriously sinister turn that you won't expect. Out of nowhere, a creepy man proceeds to climb Hannah's second-story balcony to get inside of her house. When she notices the man inside of her place, she is obviously extremely freaked out and demands the man to leave, but unfortunately, it is not that easy and he doesn't obey. He even asks her if she is friends with him, at which point she clearly mm -hmm. tells him no and tells him once again that he needs to leave. Thankfully, the man does eventually leave, but it was not easy for him to actually listen to her. Sadly, it seems as though this scary incident may have freaked Hannah out so much to the point where she stopped doing TikTok videos, something that she clearly loved doing up until this point. After this video, she only ever posted one more video a couple of months later, and that was back in January of 2021. Wow. It's just sad to think about the fact that there are people this scary in the world. PSA announcement to you fucking retarded ass dudes in this world. That is nowhere near of how you get a girl to like you or even talk to you. Sorry to use words that people may find triggering. But at the end of the day, that word describes you the most. Simple and straightforward. If you truly want to speak with a female, read the room. Uh, going to their home is not going to allow you to talk with them. That's how you get into jail. That's called a felony. That's also how you get, depending on the person, you never know. Sometimes these TikTokers don't even put their ages on their bio, which is true. I don't do the same thing either. Some of these TikTokers could be 16, 17, and here you are invading their home. Guess what that makes you? Registered. There's so many ways to approach somebody that you may have interest in. That is not the way to go to their home. And it's sad because this person genuinely enjoyed doing TikToks. She got herself a great following. This could have been something that she has as a you know plan B career or her plan A career. But now that ship is sealed. Because of creeps like you that think, I, I, I don't understand the logistics or like the brain power of, uh, I'm going to climb this girl's fucking balcony and enter her home and she's going to open her arm up, hug me, and we're going to be best friends. I, I just don't know. If, if you, I don't know, there's ways to go about it. And those are never the ways. You would never, ever, ever hear any quote unquote love story talking about how, oh yeah, I did a B and E and the girl fell in love with me. No, never the case. Message the person, DM the person. If you figure out they're in a local area, don't try to stalk them. Just go about your day. If you ever bump into them accidentally, then yeah, approach them very respectfully confidently and say hey listen i like you i think you're pretty whatever just con you know, converse with them if the person's like uh sorry no then guess what go on tiktok and find another fish let me get a job and find a fish at a job or let me go to school and or college whatever a trade school or yeah and maybe find a fish there the person don't want you they don't want you 
But again, confidence is key and as well as respect is key. Don't be like, I want you. I need you. No, they're gonna, that's how you get blasted in the head or locked up forever. A woman on TikTok named Valeria posted a video to her account where she starts it off by saying as quietly as she can that she swears that there is somebody outside of her room, despite the fact that she lives alone. She then stops talking to listen in on her surroundings. At first, the house seems to be quiet, but then out of nowhere, it becomes abundantly clear that there most definitely is a visitor in Valeria's home. Larry, that's a unique name. Hey. Hmm. Let a bitch say hey in my house when I'm home by myself. Hey. No. If I see a head pop up between that fucking shadow area. I'm gonna start blasting. Girl. Scooby don't. Okay. An extremely creepy voice can be heard saying the word hey from somewhere close by in her home. Okay, I respect her now. Luckily, Valeria doesn't go out to investigate, which was the smart thing to do in case she walked out of the room and something bad happened. She instead decides to wait a few seconds and then stands up and walks over to her open bedroom door and proceeds to close it. She then ends the video by asking her followers what she could do. In an update video, she goes Girl, on to say that update, sometimes are you okay? Girl. things happen in her house too, such as instances in which she hears her pets making noises outside of her room, even when they are in there with her. She also says there have been instances in which she heard people calling her cats from other rooms, in addition to lights turning on and off all by themselves. A lot of people in the comments of these videos seem to be convinced that, Was a, that a cat just stirred into the wall? Valeria's home, which definitely seems like a believable yet scary possibility. One commenter said, quote, A mimic is a being that can sound like you or loved one, but more robotic. Don't ever listen for them. Don't go investigate. Just ignore it because they will lure you away. End quote. I think it's good advice, not just for Valeria, but for anyone that is going through a similar situation. Is there any specialist you can call for like stuff like this? This is like, I don't know, go on Google, look up like chants to do or blessings or get the sage and bless the house and or purify the house or whatever. And... Yeah, if you're hearing, hey, 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 if you're hearing fucking Navi from Legend of Zelda in your home, uh, get the Master Sword and kill the bitch. A man named Tommy Wells posted video to his YouTube channel on June 10th, 2011, which seemingly showcases an ordinary birthday party gone terribly awry, quite suddenly. Awry? Okay. At the start of the video, a woman, presumably Tommy's wife, is showing off the family member sitting around the kitchen, getting ready to light the candle on the young girl's cake. Okay. It's a cute moment at first, and you'd be forgiven for thinking the video is nothing more than a wholesome home video of a young girl's birthday. But in just a few moments, this ordinary Damn. video turns into anything but. I have videos at this in my mom's house. Birthday, dear Christina. Oh, twins? Maybe yeah, cousins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You gonna cut the cake mama, or you want me to? Go ahead, I'm around the camera. Hell yeah, brother. Alrighty. Hell yeah, sister. Cake. Cut that cake, sister. Did you like the boss signal I set you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh my god, damn. God oh, damn. Oh, damn it, Tommy. <laughs> He's gonna mess this up for his buddy. Yo, else. Cletus. Come on, Sissy. Turn that water off, Cletus. Come on. Come on. Can you make the water bill don't go high. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, baby. Just 
Seems like it's I missing everything in four seconds. It's okay. It'd be all right. God, I can't. Yeah. We should have had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay. It yeah. It's just. Else, okay? This stuff is starting again. The right. uh, doggone damn okay. started again. Oh. <laughs> Come on, ghost. This is a birthday party. Out Be of nowhere, courteous. The kitchen sink oh, begins God to damn. turn on by itself, <laughs> and then a couple of seconds later, the cabinets and drawers begin to open and close uh. repeatedly, causing the children in the room to scream. Unfortunately, despite the fact that this video is over a decade old, mm -hmm. we have never gotten any sort of concrete explanations for what exactly was going on in the video. But we can only hope that this family is doing a lot better these days. I hope and so too. We can only hope that the children who experienced this firsthand were not traumatized for life. Uh, that's a therapy bill right there. That's an intense therapy bill right there. I'm not trying to be mean or kind of cruel. It just I love the southern accent. So it's like when I hear, I get happy. It's like when I hear a British accent, I get happy. It's something about southern people getting scared that I just find intriguing. It's oh goddamn. Oh, what the hell, brother? It's just that. I just love the southern accent. So if I was in that footage, I'd be doing the same thing. What the hell? Motherfucker, get out my goddamn hell, motherfucker. That'll be me. My name would be Billy Bob Joe Timmy Tom. Listen, I love the south. Just love it. Number two. A YouTube channel known as Derek's 90 posted a video to his account on May 27th, 2011, in which he and a friend are wandering around inside of a school that his friend asked him to go and check out with him, as he is thinking of transferring That's not a real friend. Oh, okay, never mind. He said that his friend wanted to videotape it so he could oh, then this look is 2011, at later so. with other school videos to compare them Explains and that. ultimately decide which school he wants to transfer to. 3P footage. This particular video shows the duo heading inside to check out the Texas Lutheran University, which looks to be quite nice upon first inspection. But that all changes rather quickly. Holy hell, the quality. Really cool because we've got student shows, we've got professor shows, and a couple times a semester they have them, and anybody can attend, and it's really nice. This is our sculpture hallway, and down here we've got printmaking. Um, it's T posing. Down here, we've got printmaking. Um, we'll see if there's a professor there that can talk to you about that. Sometimes they hang out during the summer. Hey, same, man. Didn't you come here to do sculpture, though? That's kind of true. Um, maybe we could go look at the sculptures. Yeah, stuff. definitely. We'll go down the sculpture hallway. See if Isn't there a shadow? Uh, sometimes they do, like, senior seminar and some student work from last semester in the classrooms. We'll see if maybe there's something left over for you to look at. Here's some professor classrooms right there. And then these are all the art classrooms. I think this one... Oh, I don't know. Hmm. As you can see, at one point in the video, while on the guided tour with his friend and the tour guide, the camera pans to the right, and we can see a mysterious ghostly figure looming in the hallway for a few seconds before the cameraman returns to the other point of view and continues walking forward. He says that nobody saw the entity when the video was filmed, and they only noticed it when they eventually replayed the footage, watching it back at a later date, and ultimately getting the scare of a lifetime. To the surprise yep. of nobody, the uploader mentions that upon seeing the video, his friend has officially ruled out this place as a possible school for him to transfer I would've went like that school now. Let's just hope that he eventually found a nice school to transfer to, one that doesn't have any ghosts in it, preferably. That guy became Elon Musk. Number one. Oh, Urban X Hill? Chris from the YouTube channel Urban yes. X Hill is once again heading out in the wild to explore I can some tell of his the fucking quality. terrifying and haunted locations. And this time, he is venturing back to the over 90 year old Robert Fulton School, 90. which he previously visited in the past for exploration videos. Despite encountering some pretty terrifying stuff in this previous video there, he decided that Wait, there was somebody who lived there, I think. To see if this time things would be any different. Chris. For the first little while of the video, 
things seem to be going quite well for Chris, who isn't encountering anything downright scary right away. The fact that there's a thing open but the that door. changes at around the 12 minute mark when this happens. Just ramen. A knock. What? But if the creepy knocking noises weren't enough, Chris then proceeds to place his camera down on a desk, positioned nearby, and it's right here in which Chris accidentally records something absolutely bone chilling. All right, show me. Yeah, that's a homeless dude. That is a homeless dude. Did you see it? No. A man can be seen passing by at the end of the hallway. What was this man doing in the building? He's living in was there. He simply trying to investigate the building as well, or no. did he have more sinister intentions? No, he just lived there. He's homeless. Never know. Brother, you have ramen noodle cups. We have food stuff. We have the fucking back door with the little stopper so the door doesn't fully close and lock you know, somebody out. That's his locks. Well, that's his key. It's the key to his home. Maybe he forgot to when he was whatever. But maybe there's multiple people who live in that building who are homeless. Or maybe it's a trap house. Who, who knows? There's so many explanations. This just like has been abandoned. They have so many ways to block certain entrances. Maybe, you know, I just think it's a whole bunch of people who are homeless or maybe people who are into the whole drug stuff lifestyle that just have that area as their way to, you know, live away from obviously the weather. Then about 30 seconds later, Chris finds himself in for even more scares. All these deaths behind. Same direction where the guy was at. Before Chris can even get a chance to leave, though, things escalate rather quickly. Take a look at this. I hear somebody talking. That's why you bring a pew pew with you. Flashlight. Gunshots? Yeah, my. That's just why I said you Some bring your own pew pew. Voices can be heard. A man with a gun can be seen on camera, and gunshots can be heard. I think it's safe to say that after these horrifying experiences at the school that this is probably going to be the last time that Chris explores the Robert Fulton school. And as he comes really back with, him? he can explore it as long as he comes back with his own um, pew pew, maybe a bigger pew pew, or maybe a rocket pew pew, or an AC pew pew. <laughs> I, just, I mean, that's not the type of place you'd go ahead and call the cops to try to you know, get it cleared out for you to investigate because again some people in this world just went through the unfortunate reality of just how the country is and it's very corporate and because of everything rising in prices unfortunately there's people who are becoming more homeless unfortunately the homeless population is getting larger in percentage because of just how separated this is not me trying to get political whatever it's just fucking reality. The difference between the one percent and the nine percent—it's so, so largely different now. They're like it's a whole other universe. There are so many people who are part of that one percent that's so out of just touch with reality. 
and not understanding of how 99% of the world works. Unfortunately, the bottom 1% or the bottom 10%, most likely who are either on the verge of homelessness or are homeless, that number is going to get to 15%. That number is going to get to 20%. That number is going to get to 25%. And that top 1% is going to be top 0.5%. It's going to get lower and lower and lower because we're just in this huge just difference in realities. And there's nothing that's happening that helps these people. And the only way for people could get help is, you know, squatter rights. The only way for these people to try to find a way to even just breathe in this economy is squatter rights. Or find these abandoned buildings and just try their best to lay low and just have shelter. Instead of going to the shelter, which sometimes they abuse them. Or they sometimes unconsent them. Things like that happen. Or because you're in this facility with a whole bunch of other people who are desperate and trying to want to leave, theft happens or sometimes worse. Maybe you see two people that one person stole from this other person and they finally see each other at the facility and now one person's unalived. There's so many different realities that happens when it comes to the whole homeless population. People just want to be left alone. They have themselves a most likely an unregistered firearm. And they have a whole building to themselves. It may be deserted, it may be run down, it may not have any electricity or whatever, but at least they have something over their head. That's my thoughts. But this was nine videos. That seagull still really baffled me. So the title is correct. I'm still baffled about the, the seagull. I think it's still a laser pointer going like that, whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's reactions of the nine scary videos that will baffle you. A um, few of them got me baffled. And next will be Bizarre Bub. At the Bizarre Bub, I'm gonna finish the 66. I believe there's a few more parts left. And then Bizarre Bub, here we come. So on that note, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I love your faces. And I'm out. Peace.